When I was in my twenties, mini skirt was my go-to because. Stop. What are you wearing? So I'll see you tonight at seven. No, you hang up first. You hang up first. In the last five years, I've been wearing a lot of midi skirts, but they can be tricky because I'm five two and my legs are short. And this is what happens when you are wearing short skirts. This much of your legs are showing. When you are wearing midi skirts, because they fall under your knees, only this much of your legs are showing. So the eye is gonna assume your legs are shorter. This is how you can reverse that assumption and make your legs appear longer. Tip number one: monochromatic dressing. This means you wear the similar color top and bottom. They don't have to be exactly the same color, but they do need to be close enough so that the color block doesn't stop in the middle. Essentially, you are recreating the visual effect of wearing a dress. From a distance, this looks like a one continuous pattern from top to bottom, and that is why this can lengthen your frame and they can flatter someone with shorter legs. Not only that, this is gonna make it very difficult for the eye to tell where exactly your legs start and where they end, and that's why they can counterbalance the cutoff effect when you are wearing a midi skirt. Tip number two is about layering. This is probably the hardest thing when you have a midi skirt. A lot of people do this, myself included. But I knew something didn't look quite right because you have a midi skirt which is making your legs look shorter. On top of that, you have a long blazer, doubles the challenge. Here's my top secret: always wear a short jacket. When you switch to a short jacket, all of a sudden your proportion changed. This is gonna make sure the top of your body is no more than a third of your entire length, and this creates the most ideal and pleasant ratio to the eye. Try it today. No matter what length your midi skirt, whether it's right under your knee or if it's above your ankle, short jacket always works. Tip number three: balance out the volume. A lot of us loved A-line skirts because they are so forgiving. They're not clinging to your bottom like the pencil skirt, but they also come with a lot of volume. So when you're wearing a skirt that has a lot of volume, then your top should not. When you are wearing two pieces, both of voluminous at the same time, like this blouse, which is relaxed fit, it's gonna make you look bulkier and it's gonna make you look heavier than you actually are. So instead, switch to a top that fits closer to your body, and this is gonna immediately create a more flattering silhouette. Wear midi skirt with a slit. The reason midi skirts can make our legs look shorter is because they cover most of our legs. Now, when you add a slit to your skirt. This is gonna change because when you are standing or walking, the eye is gonna get a peek into your legs, and that's why it's no longer gonna assume that your legs are short. Not only that, when your skirt has a slit, it's also gonna make it look more sexy and in a very subtle way. Always wear heels. If you have shorter legs like me. My go-to is heels, but sometimes you can get away with flats. For example, if your skirt is short, then so much real legs is already showing, so you can still look good when you wear flats. However, when you are wearing a midi skirt because they are under your knee, and especially like this one, this is only a couple inches above my ankle, and because it has a lot of pleats, this has a lot of volume as well. If I wear this with flats, this is gonna make it look like. The skirt is almost dragging. Looks like it's gonna weigh me down because I'm short. When you switch to heels, the magic starts to happen because now you're standing on your tiptoe. So your heels looks like an extension of your legs. And not only that, this is gonna give your proportion a subtle change because the longer your legs, this is gonna make your body proportion look much more pleasant to the eye. Tucking your top. If you have shorter legs like me, 
tucking is the most easy and effective way to immediately make you look better. And this applies to anything you wear, doesn't matter jeans, pants, or skirts. Now, when you are wearing midi skirts, tucking is critical. Because if you don't tuck, because your skirt is so long, this is making your legs look short and also this can make your outfit look frumpy. When you tuck in your top, this is going to immediately change your body proportion and give you a much more flattering look, making your legs look elongated. Choosing the right length is so important for your midi skirt. Midi length is a very broad range. Anything that falls below your knee to above your ankle is the midi length. The best length for you depends on a lot of things. Typically speaking, the shorter they are, the easier they are to style. And the longer they are, it probably look better with heels. Now, if you're someone who is really not wearing heels that much, you probably want to go with something a little shorter. Another major factor is you want to avoid the length that's falling at the widest part of your calves. Especially for those of us with wider calves, because the hem of the skirt is going to draw all the attention to that part of your legs. So you want the skirt to stop either before that point or go under that point and cover it up. Here's another important part when you are choosing your midi skirt. You need to find what suits your particular body shape. For example, if you have an hourglass body shape, Pencil skirts is probably one of the best silhouettes for you because it really accentuates your best assets, well, one of your best assets, which is your small waist and your full hips. On the other hand, if you happen to have a pear body shape and your size and your hips are more prominent, if you don't want that to become the focus of your outfit, you can choose an A-line shape and that's going to be more accommodating for your shape. Watch this video. What are the best skirts for your particular body type?